welcome to the Millionaire's Hot Seat tonight. This is a very, very special edition of Hot Seat, and you'll find out in a few moments' time. Let's get into it right away tonight because we've got a million dollars to give away and I want some big money to go off. Let's meet our contestants tonight. And first up, Anthony Bartle survived the car accident, was the first Aussie with C1 quadriplegia to complete a degree. In seat two, Dutch immigrant Marta Stora cycled to work in the 80s before it was popular. In seat three, when Alexis Oswald moved to London, she found out beds do have bed bugs and they bite. Maybe one day Police Sergeant Sarah Morse will become Inspector Morse. In seat five, Raylene Sargent hopes to publish a recipe book of her jams and chutneys. And in seat six, as an extra in Braveheart, Michael Risby spent five weeks dashing around the Highlands in a kilt. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, first up tonight, a man who's lucky to be here, there's no doubt about it. He has done a lot of things in his life as first, and tonight he does another one. Our first quadriplegic ever to appear in the Millionaire Hot Seat. Please welcome this man. What a hero he is, Anthony Bartle. <laughs> How are you, mate? Good out of yourself. You all right, mate? You all right in position? All good, Eddie. All good. All good? Yep. Now, you know what tonight, what happens if you get the question wrong? I'll let your tyres down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want that. That's for sure. No. <laughs> hey, Anthony, uh, you comfortable in position? All good, Eddie. All good, good on you, buddy, mate. 30 years of age, a journalist and a public speaker from Kensington, Victoria. 30 That's years right. of age, Anthony Bartle. Well, he's an absolute superstar, ladies and gentlemen. Anthony, if you could indulge me for a moment, mate, I just want to tell people at home why you are here and how you came to be in this situation. At six years of age, he was struck by a speeding car while walking home from school. There were no witnesses to the hit-run driving incident. He had massive internal injuries, he stopped breathing, and the C1 level of his spinal cord was broken. Luckily, a doctor from a local health centre witnessed the aftermath, resuscitating him, and he had three minutes to get himself right to be able to survive. He did that. He's one of only five people in Australia living with such a high level of injury. He likes to exploit his disability... He's a bit of a con man at times, ladies and gentlemen. He's got plenty of spirit about him. He's a great. At the Kuyong Tennis Classic, he asked to use the private bathroom. Then he snuck into the president's lunch and just stayed there for lunch. Is that right? What happened there? That's right, Eddie. I managed to gain access by asking if the, the same toilet was, was inside. Yeah. That security guard said, yeah, straight through here. So I started driving over and I thought, oh... What am I going to do now? How am I going to gain access? And the woman guarding the door said, Oh, are you here for the president's lunch? And I said, uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I went in and I started eating all the, uh, you know, the gourmet food that was there. Yeah. And the longer I was there, the woman was getting more and more suspicious. <laughs> and, uh, about the third or fourth time they're coming over to check <laughs> to tell me what the function was, she said, I think she woke up to me and yeah. uh, I said to her, oh, um, I've left my lights on in the car, I better go and <laughs> better go and turn them off. And, um, and the funny thing was I'd come in on the train. <laughs> Good on you. Hey, uh, not only that, Nancy, we'll talk to you about this throughout the course of the show. In 2006, this man flew unassisted for the first time in a microlight aircraft. In 2008, he graduated his Bachelor of Media Studies at La Trobe University, the first person in Australia to complete a degree with C1 quadriplegia. And this is the one... I mean, if flying a microlight's not exciting and, and unbelievable, what about this? In 2008, he went snorkelling in the Great Barrier Reef. Yes, sir. Fighting, Anthony, I'd like to give you the million dollars just for turning up tonight, mate. God, I'll try my best, lady. I really want to win it. All right, we've got 15 questions to get to a million dollars. Anthony, you know the routine here, mate. We've got to, to get you a thousand dollars is the first safe level for everybody. The first yeah. question is one hundred dollars. What do you reckon, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> here we go. Anthony, can you see the screen OK? I can see it fine, yeah, Eddie. Everything's under control. Right, here we go, for $100. To have great wealth and comfort is to be in the what of luxury? A, lip. B, lap. C, lung. D, leg. 
Uh, can only be 180. Uh, lock in B, lap. Lock in B, lap. Lap is correct for $100. $200. Yeah. Which of these is a kind of fight? A. Fisty cuffs. B. Trouser cuffs. C. Hiccups. D. Handcuffs. Uh, preacher on this one, Eddie. I'll lock in A. A. Fisty cuffs is locked in. Fisty cuffs is correct for $200. <laughs> Under Australian law, a minor refers to someone below what age? A, 14. B, 16. C, 18. D, 21. Uh, pretty sure again. Um, I'll lock in C, 18, Eddie. C, 18 is locked in. 18 is correct for $300. <laughs> $300. Which part of a boat is attached to the tiller? A. Sail. B. Mast. C. Bow. D. Rudder. Uh, I'm not really sure on this one, Eddie, so I might pass. Can I pass on this one, mate? Yeah, hopefully you sure? I can get back later. Hopefully we'll get back a little bit later on. Mate, to let you go over there and park. Don't crash through the set, for God's sake, OK? I'll try my best, Eddie. All right, mate, good on you, All mate. Right, See you later on. Our next contestant is Mater Stora. Hello, Mater. Hello, Eddie. How hey, are you? How are you going? Yeah, good, thanks. That's some um, act to follow, isn't it? Yes. I can't him? complain about nothing now. No, you can't. We're all here to have a bit of yeah. fun. And even better is Anthony doesn't complain about anything either. No, it's well, an that's absolute what I mean. marvel. Mm. Now, Mater, retired, uh, used to work at the Lamaru Hospital as yes. the chief cook and bottle washer for 20 yeah. years in Flagstaff, yes. in, uh, Flagstaff Hill in South Australia. I live in Flagstaff that's Hill where you're now. From? Yep. Yeah, exactly. Now, we need you to get this one right, OK? Mm. Which part of a boat is attached to the tiller? Sail, mast, bow, sorry, bow or rudder? Sail, mast, bow, rudder. Which part of the boat is attached to the tiller? Ten seconds. I've got... Yeah, I'm just saying mast. End of story. Lock in B. That's your answer? Yep. Lock it in. Mater, unfortunately, it's the rudder. Yeah. Oh, the tiller, you hold it and it's yeah, like well, a handle and it... No nah, idea. I'm Never mind. Sorry about that one. That's OK. Tough question to get. Yep. Sorry about that to John, your husband is up the back. G'day, John. Nice to meet you, anyway. Mate. Good on you, mate. Good on you. Head that way, Doug. Yeah, mate. Alexi, how are you? Good, thanks. That's the way. I'm very well. We're going to take a break. Alexi uh, Oswald is in the hot seat. We're going to play right after this and see how far we can go. There's a quarter of a million still on the table right after the break. <laughs> Who wants to be a millionaire? The hot seat's in action. Alexis Oswald is with us. Okay, Alexis. Hello, Eddie. How are you going? 25 years of age, originally That's from correct. Queensland. Yeah. Now living in, Mel living in Melbourne. And yep. you're working as an HR officer at the Mercy Health and Aged Care Centre. That's correct. All right, good luck here, Alexis. You're ready to Thank go for $500? Yes, I am. Here it comes. Which of these words is a definition of gumption? A, resourcefulness. B, humour. C, health. The stupidity. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not health or humour. Um, I'm just going to take a gamble and say D, stupidity. Stupidity? 
And take a gamble? Yep. Lock it in? Yep. Locked in. No good. Stupidity, stupidity. Resourcefulness, gumption, uh, courage or common sense. Sorry about that, Alexis. That's all right. Good Thank on you. you. I didn't much. even get a chance to say people say you look like Jennifer Garner all the time. Is that right? <laughs> yes, yes. They do. Yeah. All right. I'm Thank sorry. You yeah, unfortunately, we've been delivered out like Joel That's Garner right. on this one. <laughs> see you later. Thank Good you. Good on you. <laughs> Hello, Sarah. Hello, how are you? Too easy, this. A police sergeant with Victoria Police, Sarah Morse. Hoping one day to become Inspector Morse. That's right. Is that I'm right? Sure, I'm sure there's better reasons to seek promotion, but we'll but see how we go. Not a bad way. How long have you been with the force? Uh, 11 years now. Yeah. Hey, uh, your boyfriend Dean's with us. G'day, Dean. Eddie, how are you? Good, mate. How's things? Yeah, couldn't be better. Good, luck, good. To, good luck to both of you tonight, OK? This is for $500, Sarah. Good luck. What is a well-known nickname for British Army privates? A. Danny's. B. Tommy's. C. Jimmy's. D. Kenny's. Uh, none of those are really jumping out at me at the moment. Um, I'd just be guessing, and at this stage, I don't think I will. I'll pass. You're going to pass? Thank you, Eddie. No worries, Sarah. We'll see you a bit later on. Thank you. <laughs> We've just gone from a sergeant in the police force to Raylene Sergeant. That's right. Hello, Raylene. How are you? I'm good, thanks, Eddie. How Home duties these days? Yep. Looking after Alan, who you've been married to for 16 years? 16 years. How is Alan? He's up the back there. G'day, Alan. Hey, how are you going, Eddie? Good, mate. Good luck tonight. Thanks very much. OK, Raylene, here we go. You must answer this question, OK? What is a well-known nickname for British Army privates? Danny's, Tommy's, Jimmy's, Kenny's. Well, Eddie, uh, the only one that's familiar to me is Tommy's, so lock in B, Tommy's. Tommy's is locked in. Tommy's is correct for $500. From the name Thomas Atkins, used in specimen forms in the British Army during the 19th century. We're going to take a break. We've got a big show tonight. There is still $100,000 to be won in the hot seat right after this. To the millionaire hot seat. Raylene Sargent is here. Her husband, Alan Dixon, is with us as well. Good on you, Al, up the back. First safe level, Raylene, $1,000. Good luck. Prime Minister Kevin Rudd has said he has always worn which type of boot? A. Blundstone. B. Desert. C. R. M. Williams. D. Ugg. Oh, well, I don't think he'd be wearing desert boots or Ugg boots, so it's probably between Blundstone and R. M. Williams. He's... Six, five... Lock in C, R.M. Williams. Locked in, R.M. Williams is locked in and it is...